going to show you what's wrong with you. I'm going to show you. The Bible puts our God going to show you what's wrong with you.
America philosophy. Your mind is a reprobate mind. Guess what? No matter how many laws you can know. They go that way. You look at that. You look at our people in the whole All people in the whole thing. Let me get you. Let somebody in the show me who's in the book. Give me that Bible. Brother, 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 brother. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. You see that? Tell me. Tell me. You see that? You see that? You see that? Everybody out here has sick. Has some form of sick. You know why you said that? God you know why you said that though? He said you know why you said that though? He said, he said the first person that does not have sick has the first love. So who don't have sick? Isaiah 58 and 1. Pray and I love. Pray and I Lift up my voice like a trumpet. God said don't say his people because they're in a mix of sin. Your brothers out don't know you. But guess who know you? God know you, brother. God said you on drugs. God said you have to change your ways. God know you. And show my people that transgress. Show my people that transgress. Did you know what they used to Did you know what they used to allow? Did you know what they used to allow? Did you know what they used to allow? Did you know who came the nation of Israel? That saves you out the Bible. You need not know because if you would have known it, you would have blocked God. And I read the Bible from the back. He don't even have to read it. He don't have to read it. The book of 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 the book
you at this kind of drugs. Then you bugged out your mind. I don't do no drugs. Israel, brother, Israel, brother. Israel, cigarette is a drugs, brother. Cigarette is a drugs. That's my cigarette is a drug. You defy your temple, brother. Wicked man that you are. You better repent for all drugs. Let me read John 8 real quick. John 8 and verse 7. He mentioned, you have not seen Catholic first stone, right? Let's get that. So if you don't know the Bible, let's see what the Messiah says. John 8 verse 7. John 8 verse 7. So when they continue asking him, he lifted himself, lift up himself, and said unto them, Be that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Now, jump down to verse 10. Verse 10. Ah, there's more, there's more, there's more. There's more. There's more. Read. Verse 10. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman. They all left. When he said to him, You have sin, cast the first stone, they all left. Right? Go ahead. He said unto her, Woman. Where are those thine accusers? Where are your accusers? Go ahead. Have no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. No man condemned thee. Go ahead and laugh. Go ahead. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Neither do I condemn thee. Go ahead. Go and sin no more. We say that? Go and sin no more. Don't do what no more? Go and sin no more. Don't sin no more. The Lord don't sin no more. How can you say I'm sick? We don't know. Brother, you smoke cigarettes? Okay, like you coming at me telling me I'm broke for going without me. Show me what it is. 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 To speak loud like a little man does. And show my people Talk their transgressions right. and the house of Jacob their sin. Read again. And show my people their transgressions. Show them what? Their transgressions. Their what? Their transgressions. Go ahead. And the house of Jacob their sin. And the house of Jacob their sin. This is our job. Verse 15 3 16 about tobacco. Which, 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 which obviously gives you cancer. It's obviously destructive. It's addictive. Like a drug. It's a drug. That's right. Common sense. Read that, please. First Corinthians. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold that. Give me my eight minute, please. Our job out here is to teach our people common sense. Because slavery ended 149 years ago. And y'all still on the mindset of it. You gained your civil rights 58 years ago. So you still slave minded to this day. The effects are still there. It was yesterday. Read that so you can't actually argue with us. Read on. First Corinthians 3 and 16. No, we're not correcting you. We're correcting you, you're getting mad about it. Like the wicked Israelites in the wilderness. Read that. First Corinthians, verse 3. They argue Moses too, and they all chat dead in the wilderness. Read that. And 16. Know ye not that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Go ahead. If any man defile the temple of God, any man does what? Defile the temple of God. You spoke cigarettes, brother. You're defiling your temple. When you put when you take tobacco and smoke it, you're destroying your lungs, you're burning your throat, you're destroying yourself inside out. You want some commercials? Jeez. <coughs> I used to be a swimmer. I used to swim. Remember that commercial? Ladies said, I lost my fingers. I look, I got amputated. My fingers are gone, my toes are gone. Why? From smoking cigarettes, she was told to stop. Then she got surgery, one did it again. No fingers, no hand, no toes. From defiling your temple. Shalom brothers and shalom sisters. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. As many of you are finding out, Christianity has destroyed our people. For the past 400 years, we have been indoctrinated in lies. Those lies of Christianity have not benefited our people in the least bit. Many of you know this. So, like Christ said in John chapter 3, verse 3, he said, Except ye be born again, you shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So in order to inherit the kingdom of heaven which shall be established on earth, you must be born again. What does that mean? Many of you always quote that, but you don't understand what that means. When you go to 2nd Ezra, 
chapter 14, verse 34, Ezra said, Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding, meaning subdue all that you have learned here in Babylon the Great, it says, and reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive. What does that mean? Meaning you must be taught all over again, taught your nationality, taught why it is that we as a people went into slavery here in America. Who are we? What is the mystery of why this country, these nations have changed our nationality? We here at Israel United in Christ, we have classes seven days a week, three times a day, all for what? For your learning, for your edification. You will learn things never taught to you before. You will learn history, you will learn prophecy, and more importantly, you will learn the dynamics of what you need today to survive as a people. One third of Israel is prophesied to repent of their sins and come into this truth. So now we need you brothers and sisters, come join us here at IsraelUnite.org. Go to our online classes and register. This is for you. This is for the redemption of the 12 tribes of Israel, brothers and sisters. I hope you understand that. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 6 says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. And brothers and sisters, we are not keeping silence. So come join us. Help, help us build this truth. Donate to us so that we can keep this truth on and on. Push it forward. Help us get this gospel out. Because Christ said, when this gospel is taught throughout the earth, then shall the end come. So with that, brothers and sisters, we say shalom.